His Excellency, uh, Ms. Vella, Honorable Minister, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening. The Malt Engineering Excellence Awards has become a staple in the Chamber of Engineers calendar of events. Through these awards, we honor the achievements of engineers and industry in Maltese society. The quality of certain engineering projects in Malta is reaching international standards, and our engineers are at the forefront in leading these projects to success. Excellency, Mrs. Vella, Minister, ladies and gentlemen, this uh, award today, which is also being, one of the awards is also being, let's say, supported by the Energy and Water Agency, builds up on a long collaboration, a long and fruitful collaboration, which the agency has with, with the chamber. The Energy and Water Agency is a policy support agency, a technical arm which supports government in the development of policies in the energy and water sectors. In so doing, the help, support and collaboration of professional entities in both the energy and water sectors is of the utmost importance to the agency to enable that our advice to government is based on data, facts, real information, and the real feel of the uh, sectors out there. And the Industrial Excellence Award for 2019 goes to the team who put Elvis in engineering, MPAV Engineering, for the Malta HIP project. May we kindly ask the team of MPAF, engineer Donald Dalli, uh, Professor Buhajar, to please come forward and collect their award. Ladies and gentlemen, this year's award goes to engineer Pierre Chantar. This was, first of all, thank you very much for this, uh, for this award. This was totally unexpected. I got a big surprise when my birth date was mentioned. I said, what a coincidence. <laughs> <laughs> um, honestly, thank you very, very much. Uh, it's greatly appreciated. Thank you. Al dar bohra nishti natil condolianze ti ai u tashabil el Catherine Elizabeth u Michael li neputiet da nanu Alex u la famiglia collettiva grazie. And the winner for the Mechanical Engineering Stream for 2019 with the project entitled 3D Multiphase Modeling and Optimization Framework of a Merchant Ship, Michele Antoana Bell. <laughs> and the winner of the Engineering Stream is with the title Implementation and Testing of Parallel Droop controlled three-phase inverters is Mr. Nick Mitzi. Unfortunately, Mr. Mitzi couldn't make it tonight, but a round of applause is still made. Your Excellency, Dr. Vella, Mrs. Vella, President of the Chamber, Dr. Mikhailov, and uh, Honorable Mi uh, Mr. Mitzi, committee members, distinguished guests, fellow engineers, colleagues and friends, good evening. 
Uh, President of the Chamber, I thank you for this invitation. I feel honored to be part of this distinct award ceremony once again and to be given the opportunity to address this distinguished audience. On behalf of the Faculty of Engineering and the, at the University of Malta, I would like to congratulate all the awardees on this valued achievement, accomplished through self-motivation, hard work, strong leadership, and above all, high caliber engineering. I would like to thank you for your invaluable contribution to the engineering industry, as well as the engineering profession in Malta. The Faculty of Engineering, one of the relatively long established faculties within the University of Malta, which is this year celebrating its 250th anniversary from the foundation by Grandmaster Pinto, has been a powerful contributor to the engineering profession, profession since the early 1960s. Over the years, the faculty has contributed to the training of thousands of engineers who are leading today's local industry, and in more recent years has engaged directly in knowledge transfer-based academia and, in, and, and the industry through various research-based projects. And the winner for the ICT stream for 2019 with the project entitled Emotion Recognition from Static Images, Mr. Chris Bonnici. Your Excellency, President George Vella, uh, Ms. Vella, uh, Honorable Minister, Inge um, Daniel McAuliffe, fellow engineers, distinguished guests, good evening. I would like to thank the Chamber of Engineers for the invitation to address you today. And um, today we are celebrating excellence, excellence in engineering. The awards presented today serve as an inspiration to aim for excellence in the fields of engineering and ICT. The Faculty of ICT is committed to excellence in research and higher education to meet the needs of the industry of today and that of tomorrow. The Faculty prepares students in the fields of engineering and computer science, providing a solid foundation in fundamental science whose principles are then applied to various applications, including but not limited to health, transport, finance, security, privacy, energy, and the environment. And the Energy and Water Sustainability Award for 2019 goes to De La Rue for the Chilled Water Network Project. <laughs> we now ask, invite Mr. Oswar Darmani, representing De La Rue, to come forward and receive the award. Your Excellency, Mrs. Vela, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, I would like to congratulate De La Rue as well as the other contenders to award for their great work. It is indeed for this reason that the Energy and Water Agency within my ministry created this award to recognize industry's effort at finding sustainable solutions and making a significant impact on the energy and water usage. I would also like to thank the Chamber of Engineers for their support throughout the process and their understanding in rewarding efforts in sustainable energy and water use. I also thank them for accepting that our award be presented during tonight's event, which recognizes engineering excellence both at personal and corporate level. The work undertaken by the Chamber is indeed commendable and we look forward to consolidating our cooperation further to allow for an increase in knowledge transfer on sustainable de development of the energy and water sectors. Honorable Minister, President of the Chamber of Engineers, Dr. Sapiano, it is indeed a pleasure to be here with you this evening um, to give recognition, as we were doing, to engineers and companies that have achieved outstanding accomplishments and the field of engineering, which significantly impacted Maltese society or will impact Maltese society um, in the future. I want to begin by congratulating all the winners of tonight's Engineering Excellence Awards for the work that they have done and also for the innovative ideas that they took their presence for, ranging from hip joints and also facial recognition of emotions by static photos, which I haven't as already <laughs> understood what it is all about. However, much has been achieved since holding the first Engineering Excellence Awards. This has been said already. 
and we should give due credit to engineer Morris De Bono, who was instrumental in elevating the status of the engineering profession in Malta. Whilst congratulating the winners of the awards, again, I commend the Chamber of Engineers for holding this Engineering Excellent Awards another year, and I thank you all in the profession for the positive impact you are leaving on our lives. Thank you very much.